Well, everybody here knows this guy, Mike Goldberg, 20-year voice of the UFC, future Hall of Famer if we have anything to say about it now with Bellator MMA, but still here at the World MMA Awards. Funny story, Goldie, everybody knows all about you on our show. Right. Everybody knows the Bellator stuff, so let's just skip to the good stuff here tonight. First of all, first time I met your lovely lady, she was not dressed like this, and I was, you know, we were standing right over there, okay, and another woman stepped on another lady's dress, and the dress almost came completely off, uh -oh. and I said, wow, she just almost lost her dress, and she said she should have hemmed her own like I did. She, she said she busted out the sewing machine and fixed her own dress. Now, that's a keeper. That is a keeper, and watch Brazil win at the same time and advance in the World Cup. You know, she's Brazilian, so not only did she watch the soccer game, but she also was able to get the sewing machine going at the same time. She is definitely a keeper, definitely a keeper. Absolutely, and Goldie, you know what's funny? I'll just keep going with the funny stories because they just keep on coming. As I walk outside at the World MMA Awards, I see Big John. I had met him with my buddy Sean Wheelock. We call yeah. Roy Jones boxing together on being sports, Sean and I. Well, Big John and Sean are good friends, right? Sure. So Big John's out there, I go, hey man, good to see you again, so on and so <laughs> forth. And I said, hey, how do you like working with Goldie? And he goes, you mean him? Yeah, and I didn't even see you. I went right because that's how big Big John is. He just commands all the attention in the room. Well, you know how big he is? Is that back in the day, the, the, the most difficult thing for Anthony Giordano our UFC director for years was to avoid the the backside of Big John with different shots because that is literally an eclipse. Yeah, I mean he is that large. If you get one of the smaller, if you get Jason Herzog real quickly from behind, you can still see the action. If it's Big John, forget about it. The lights go off. Big John, get out of the way. And John's saying, I'm going to protect the fighters. Now we've got him out of the way, sitting next to me, and I couldn't be happier. Yeah, not even you and Joe can figure out what's going on behind him. You know, that's saying <laughs> a lot. But um, let's talk a little bit about what's going on over at Bellatar. One of the guys who we love personally and know him really well is Ryan Bader. Yeah. Up for fighter of the year, man. So happy for him because the UFC basically did what they do with people when they don't want him anymore. And they just said, we'll see you. That's nice fair. knowing you. And yeah. then Ryan Bader ends up being a fighter of the year candidate. Has the belt over there. But not only that, he's a real, I mean, a great position to win that heavyweight tournament as well. There's no question about it. And the, the thing about Ryan is his game was always evolving. And at the UFC, he always got to that one spot. And if it was John Jones or Rumble or Lyoto Machida when he walked into the wood chipper, he was always right there. And I think people forgot that when he made the move to Bellator. It's like, oh, Bader can't this, Bader. Bader finished his career by kneeing people in the face and knocking them out yeah. overseas. And now not only to see him have success in Bellator, have the light heavyweight belt, but coming off the stoppage in his last fight, I mean, violent knockouts, that's what I like to see about the ever-evolving game of Ryan Bader. And you and I both know, most importantly, He's a great human being, he's a great husband, he's a great father, and he's a great friend of both of us. So, you know, to see Ryan Bader have any type of success always puts a smile on my face. And to get him at an award show where we know he doesn't love this kind of stuff and he doesn't oh, love the absolutely. lights and the pictures, For sure. it's going to be fun to see him walk through here and, and kind of like grimace a little bit. But something tells me he'll be smiling, Goldie. He's got that big family. Life is good for Ryan Bader as it's good for you. Yeah. A lot of big things going on in Bellator for you and, and just some big fights coming up, Rampage. And and, and Vanderlei are going to do it again. The heavyweight tournament's finishing up. But just the, the evolution of the younger fighters and some of the bigger name fighters in Bellator who are now getting much more attention because a guy like you is over there and Big John's over there. And, you know, it's pretty interesting to see the growth and evolution that's happening at Bellator. You, and, you know, you could, let's just say, A.J. McKee, one of many who are doing that. And I remember having a conversation with Scott Coker. And, you know, Jimmy, a lot of times people will say, well, you know, Chael and Tito are fighting again or Rampage is fighting again. Well, well, you know what? First off, fans still love those guys. They're absolute legends. But as importantly, you switch on the TV and you watch Bellator. And what do you see working your way to the main event? You see all the young up-and-coming talent, all these exciting fighters who can do great things. If you're talking about an Ed Ruth, you know, Penn State wrestler, that's that's just one of a bunch of examples. Of Darren Caldwell's absolutely spectacular. Love him. He's great. You know, there's a lot of great young talent at Bellator, and it's a nice mix right now, and it's a great transition. And again, to, to promote the young star, you got to 
get the eyes watching and I'll watch Rampage and Vanderlei 7, Rampage and Vanderlei 8. I don't care if they come in, you know, on canes and wheelchairs, I'll still watch them fight. Keep those ratings coming and the paychecks <laughs> coming. But, you know, last one for Goldie because it's a red carpet. There's a lot of interviews waiting down there for you. But um, this is great to see everybody here, the World MMA Awards. There really is no UFC. There is no Bellator. Yeah. It's just MMA here tonight. And that's one of the things I really love about this event. It's my first time here, but I can just tell from the beginning there's no lines here. It's just we love the sport and we're all here to celebrate it. And you know, that's what I found out once I got over to Bellator and got comfortable, that it is MMA and it is a big family and it's a family that includes all of the MMA world and it really is a world. And just by the way, I'm in no hurry because the most important interview I'm doing tonight is the one with you because you're my guy at home in Phoenix and you're the guy that gave me that tribute that I will never forget, my friend. This is my guy right here, the Hall of Famer, Mike Goldberg, the voice of MMA as far as I'm concerned and you guys know how we feel about that on our show. Goldie, always appreciate it, man. I love agree. you. Have a great time love in Vegas. Too, All right. right. Mike Goldberg here at the World MMA Awards in Vegas.